Hi guys. So to start off with, I am painting on a rock that I made use, uh, using a mold from the Happy Dotting Company. And my goal here is to try to make this rock look like a bubble. So I wasn't exactly sure how to go about doing this. <laughs> um, it This is something I'd never done before. I've never actually painted a bubble. I've painted water spots and water drops and bubbles in the water, but I've never painted just an actual bubble floating in the air. And that's what I wanted this rock to look like, um, as opposed to just painting bubbles on the rock. So I pulled a bunch of reference photos uh, to get an idea. And the one thing that I struggled with is that in all of the reference photos, uh, your ref the bubble is see-through so <laughs> your rocks not see-through so you lose a little bit of the realism because of that and I I actually struggled with that a little bit but I used a very limited palette I'm using titanium white Mars black ultramarine blue quinacridone magenta and bright aqua green but you could use whatever colors you wanted to use. That's just a color palette that appeals to me. So that's what I chose. So another thing I struggled with is that this rock is domed. And when you're sitting beside the rock and painting, you can see a lot more of the side of it. But in the video and when you're looking at the rock, you, you're looking at the top of it. And so I kept failing to pull the color on the side up high enough on the edges of the rock so that you could actually see it from the top. So I kind of had to keep going back and forth, pulling the color up further and further up the sides. The other thing I struggled with was um, when you were painting with uh, acrylics, they go on brighter and lighter when they're wet and they darken as they dry it's called color shifting and when you're painting uh, on a black background of course it's going to darken even more so i struggled with that a little bit so i had to keep kind of going back and pulling the color up higher on the rock towards the middle and i had to keep lightening the color up because i didn't want the color to be too bright um i wanted I wanted the hints of color on there where you could kind of see the black background through it to kind of give that illusion that it was see-through. But you you needed to be able to see the color, right? Uh, <laughs> the whole effect doesn't work if you can't see the color. So I struggled with that a little bit. Again, you know, like I was just working out the whole concept and design and everything as I painted where normally I have a lot of that worked out beforehand. The other thing is that so as I'm painting lower uh, around the sides of the rock I'm painting in a circular pattern going like lines going around the rock but as you get towards the center of the rock I'm painting in circular cloud shape patterns because I wanted the bubble to look like it was picking up some kind of reflection from the sky you know being the clouds and stuff so as I paint around the edges I am painting in lines that blend with one another the colors are blending they're softly feathered at the edges but it goes around the rock and then as I get to the center you're going to see where I kind of make some cloud-like shapes. They don't need to look like clouds. I just, I don't want it to look like lines so much. So then I do this reflective light that you want to go through the bubble. And you can see that here. I painted that in titanium white and then along the base of the shine towards the edge of the rock, that's where I put the aqua green just just to add some color to that section of the rock. 
So here I'm going in and making those kind of cloud-like shapes right al along the center section. Now you want both halves of the rock to mirror each other to some degree. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you have pink on one side, the opposite side should have pink on it as well. According to the bubble pictures that I used as reference photos. Now the very center of the rock going from one side to the other between the two reflective sparkles, I wanted that section to be darker. And that kind of helps split the two halves apart, you know, so you can see the mirroring effect from one side to the other. But I don't want just a bar of black across the middle. So you're going to break that up with the color so that you just have, it's just darker through this whole center section of the rock from one half to the other. And I was surprised how much I had to lighten my colors up. So I would do it gradually. But you are, if you're using Liquitex Basics, which are a translucent color to begin with, you will have to add a little bit more white than I thought I would have to add. But so don't, but I would do it gradually. Because you don't want your color to look opaque, but you want it to show up on the rock. So I'm kind of just going back and forth, making sure that my colors are coming across the top. You can actually see them from the looking straight down on the rock. And breaking up that center black pattern going from side to side. You definitely want to break that pattern up. You don't want a bar of black going across it. And you want to use some glazes. And if you want to know how I make glazes, I've got other videos, several of them kind of showing how I do glazing. Now for this rock, because it's against that black background, it'll be a little bit thicker glaze. So it's gonna have a little less water because you want it to be a, a touch more opaque, but not much, you still want it to be kind of see-through. So there's kind of a balance there you have to find. And know that when you're looking at the rock right now, the effect, the bubble effect doesn't really show up that well and you kind of fight with that because it doesn't really look like a bubble once you spray it with the with your clear coat and i used um, the rust-oleum triple thick clear coat then that's what because now it is really reflective it you know you're going to have real reflections on the on the stone the rock that's what really gives it that bubble effect so just know it's going to look better once you clear coat it or do a resin coat. Resin coat would look fantastic on this. Just doing some last finish finishing touches on this rock. Making sure that, you see I would paint all the way around the rock and then I would go in and darken uh, the middle, kind of separating the two halves from one another. Um, with the, with the uh, Mars Black. 
And even the Mars black was turned into a glaze. I glazed that over this color. So here's the Mars black going in. And I'm just breaking up that pattern across the top. And then when, as I wrap down the sides, instead of doing a swirling motion, I'm doing more of blended lines, kind of feathering. And here is the finished results. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.